Hello guys, good to see you. Welcome to my channel Webtecus here. Sorry for this uh, background because my studio is still under construction. I'm working on it because I want to make it a little bit more like technicalish looking. And uh, as of right now, I just have plain white walls. But the most important thing is that in this video, I want to talk about Panasonic GA6 autofocus system. Or if we're talking about the time of flight autofocus, the lack of, because uh, all the signs are pointing that um, we're not gonna get that time of flight autofocus system into the new GH6 or at least not as a primary method of autofocusing but we're gonna get stuck with the old uh, depth of defocus type of system and why do I believe that because Panasonic said so a few months ago in a fall they basically said that um, a technology that gets better, or an autofocus method that gets better as technology, the hardware and the software gets faster, it may prove the, the way to go. I'm paraphrasing. But that means that uh, once we, we, the Panasonic, once we start going with this technology, we hope, or with this method, we hope that technology will, <laughs> will catch up with it and it's gonna get faster and better because the software and the hardware is gonna get faster and better and the computer, actually the processor, sorry about that, the processor will process all those informations um, that came from that mapping of defocused area uh, much faster, the sensor readout capability grows and then we're gonna have a very nice autofocus system. This is what basically Panaso Panasonic said um, in September, if I'm not mistaken, of last year. I kind of, I knew about that, I read a lot about that thing, but I put it off because I was thinking maybe meanwhile they're going to come up with a, a new system for the for the GH6, but that did not happen. It looks like they're going to stuck, get stuck with that, if that's the right word. Um, and we're not going to get another new autofocus system for the GH6. At least this is what I, that's my conclusion from what I'm reading on the rumor site, social media and all that. This video is kind of an update of a video that I posted a while ago on my old YouTube channel and then I reposted it about that time of flight type of autofocus system based on LiDAR technology that Panasonic may implement uh, into the GH6. Again, I'm uh, commenting on what Matt Fraser said. Matt Fraser is the, um, the spokesperson for the Panasonic USA last year that that type of autofocus system is not precise enough for large sensors. That means inc including M MFT sensor, micro four thirds sensors. It works well in the automotive industry where the sensors are pretty small, but not on a, on a bigger sensor, especially when it comes to the very, very... Um, very paper thin uh, shallows uh, depth of field so uh, we're not gonna get that TOF or at least like I said not as a primary autofocus system and it looks like Panasonic is really really committed to get uh, going further and further with this depth of deep focus system which works great I'm saying for I don't know this is the fifth or the fourth video talking about this uh, w works great when it comes to still photography but when it comes to video, it's lacking big time as uh, we all know it. Right now, I'm shooting with it. <laughs> Going back to the S5, that's a full frame mirrorless Panasonic camera. It's kind of a smaller brother of S1, the hybrid camera that got launched. Full frame sensor mirrorless Panasonic camera that got launched uh, last year. And uh, no, I'm sorry, two years ago. Man, we're 2021. <laughs> Two years ago, last year, they came up with the S5 and it still has the depth of defocus autofocus system. And uh, um, DP Review, I think, DP Review did a pretty nice, uh, not scientifically, but in the field type of uh, test with that uh, S5, with the Panasonic S5 full frame mirrorless camera with a depth of defocus system and it shows that there have been some improvements but uh, still it cannot compare with the face detect autofocus system that we have it on Sony's and Canon's. What Panasonic says is that um, the subject recognition, this uh, AI technology that uh, now gets implemented in every aspect of, uh, of electronics industry uh, will help this depth of defocus auto system do perform much better 
and do a much better job at recognizing the subject to be in focus in a, in a video mode. Like I said, they on, uh, on um, DP review did not see uh, that the depth of the focus is where it should be. It's still a big improvement compared with the GH5, for example, but still it's a little bit behind, if not even more so, to the face detection autofocus. So guys, sorry to, to bring you this, uh, this news. I don't know if it's bad, it's, it's good. Uh, obviously GH5 will have an improved depth of defocused autofocus system using the AI technology, especially when it comes to faces because it has the subject recognition capability, but still is gonna be the good old depth of defocus autofocus Panasonic made and branded autofocus system. I don't know what to say about that, honestly. We'll see, we'll see. I, I hope we're gonna get more on this uh, coming from Panasonic or from the rumor sites, review sites, social media and all that. Keep posted, guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button if you wanna get notified because I'm gonna upload as fast or frequent as I can. Thank you.